The first time the university school students walk into the medical school, it's like they're seeing a glimpse of their future. At NSU University School, we think students learn best when they learn through experiences. The NOVA Southeastern University Dr. Kiran Patel College of Osteopathic Medicine Fellowship is a unique fellowship program specifically for students who are interested in medicine. Face okay. feels so real. My name is Risa Pollock and I'm a junior at NSU University School. My name is Ari Arias and I'm a junior at NSU University School. Experiential learning is an amazing opportunity. It's right in our back door with the connection to NSU. It's such a great institution. They have all this technology readily available and the students and the professors at that next level to give us the opportunity to learn while we're in high school. I think that students learn best, not just when there's equations written on the board, but we learn how to derive those equations and we learn how to see those equations via experiments. In many ways, medical fellowship is a form of experiential learning because we all know that CPR is a very important thing to do and we can read books about CPR. But being there and actually doing the experience is what allows it to register in your brain and know what the experience is like for real. Right, you want to always keep your hands when start getting contact with the chest. Through the Calm Fellowship, university school students are going to develop specific skills that are going to be relevant to their jobs as future physicians. They need to participate in several labs over the course of the fellowship, some of those being standardized patients lab where they learn how to take patient history. Oh, that was really good. Simulation labs where they learn how to interact with simulated patients. So they work with state-of-the-art mannequins where they learn how to take blood pressure and they learn how to diagnose diseases. We all take turns. And the machine makes noises too. Do you hear it? Yeah. They learn how to intubate. Students will actually also participate in labs like suturing where they'll learn how to suture a wound safely. Uh, various different labs. The pig suturing was a great activity, and obviously one of my favorites. We basically got a pig's foot and uh, we learned different ways of suturing. As a high school student, being able to work with real animal flesh was pretty cool because of course we can't work with real patients. Then I'm going to go about half a centimeter and I'm going to pop it 90 degrees. Pop. It's just tough, tough skin. This is about as close as you can get without any real medical education. The College of Medicine Fellowship is a really selective and prestigious fellowship program that we have for students who have shown an interest and a passion for medicine. We wanted to give them an opportunity to celebrate that passion. Through our unique partnership with the college and the university, we've been able to establish a program where students can actually have really meaningful moments in medicine. To finish the entire fellowship experience, we do a research project, and usually it's inspired by something we learned on our rotations. And we got to present our findings in front of all the parents. And it's a really nice way to finish this experience and wrap up everything we've learned this year. My name is Risa Pollock, and I'm presenting research on the benefits of robotic surgery. I'm Hannah Egozi, and my research question that I chose is, what is the relationship between autism and information processing or learning? My name is Ella Marshall, and I chose to do my presentation on the topic, how can needleless vaccines be utilized in medicine? No matter what you're interested in, NSU University School will make that opportunity possible. They'll find you a fellowship, they'll find you an internship, they'll find a way to get you this experience while you're still in high school. I hope University School students leave the fellowship program with a greater sense of identity and renewed interest in their passion for medicine so that they know later on in life and have been reassured during their time in high school that this is the field they want to go into. They want to help people and they want to heal people in the future. Breathe, remember your transitional statements. Remember to block everything together. Ready? Hello. I just wanted to thank everyone who made this possible. This definitely confirmed my uh, desire to be a doctor when I'm older. So thank you.